we cannot trust Dan Obe, <laughs> Obasaki allegedly tells Aswe Godalu to stay clear of the PDP National Vice Chairman. Can you imagine? So, so now, with what is happening in a those state, Obasaki, the current governor, has told his uh, anointed uh, candidate, Aswe Godalu, to stay away from Dan Obe. Dan Obe is the National Vice Chairman of PDP, and uh, he has told them told Aswe Godalu to stay clear of Dan Obe, and we understand that Dan Obe is also the leader of the PDP legacy group in those state, who are currently working with uh, with uh, Philip Shaibu, and they have said that if Obasaki does not address their concern, that they will not hesitate to stop working for PDP in the state, and they will work for someone they know that will deliver good governance to the people. And that person is suspected to be Monday of Pueblo, the APC governorship uh, candidate in Edo State. So with all of that, and uh, what is his name? Uh, Philip Shaibu has said that he will do everything to bring Obaseki down, even if it means joining APC. And at the end of the day, they have also said that they will not accept Aswe Odalo, who is imported from Lagos, who does not understand his language or his people, and will be a hiring interpreter when he's talking to his people. So with all of this put together now, Obasaki has come out to warn Aswe Odalu, say, look, Dan Obe is a national vice chairman of PDP. He's our person, but right now we can't trust him. Stay clear from him. We cannot trust him anymore. Hmm. Now be small thing. We cannot trust Dan Obe. Obasaki allegedly tells Aswe Odalu to stay clear of the PDP national vice chairman. Uh, as trouble brews within the PDP camp, okay, as investigations suggest that a do state governor Godwin Obasaki has reportedly cautioned the party's gubernatorial candidate barrister Aswe Godalu to distance himself from PDP National Vice Chairman South South uh, Chief Dan Obe. Can you imagine? So, according to the confidential sources, Governor Obasaki reportedly issued this warning late Tuesday evening following the announcement by the PDP's National Working Committee that Chief Danobe had agreed to participate in the campaign after a reconciliation between the National Working Committee and the factions within the state. Can you imagine? So the decision was reportedly reached during the 586th National Working Committee uh, meeting of the party on Tuesday, May 7th in Abuja. It's worth noting that Obe had previously rejected his inclusion in the list publicly, stating that he had not been consulted or informed before his name was added to it. Our sources alleged that Obaseki warned Asoy Odalo to be wary of Dan Obe, suggesting that he could potentially serve as a move within the campaign council. It is purported that Obe's acceptance into the council might be orchestrated by Obaseki's political rival, the FCT manager Nyeso Mwike, who wields significant influence over the party at the national level. So according to these claims, Obe's supposed instructions are aimed at destabilizing the party and ensuring their defeat in the upcoming September elections. <laughs> I see point there. I see point there because I have also understood that Dan Obe is a very very right hand man to um, to Mwike and Mwike is at loggerhead with Obasaki even after he supported Obasaki to fight Oshomole in the past. So and Mwike is also in control of the PDP National Working Committee. So with all of that put together, they want to make sure that APC wins that state. Because currently Mwike is working for APC. And Dan Obe has uh, vowed to move to APC if they don't, uh, you know, address their grievances in the state. This is hard, oh, I'm telling you, this is hard for them. So the source alleges that Obaseki stresses a lack of trust in Dan Obe and his associate advocating for caution in dealing with them due to suspicions of sabotage. This implies that they should be regarded with skepticism and uh, kept at a distance to safeguard the party's interest from potential harm or disruption. Oh boy. The unfolding events are yet to reveal their full impact in the days ahead, as these 
it remains a developing story we will continue to keep you updated on emerging trends to keep you to particularly okay to keep you updated on emerging trends particularly as the pdp braces itself for the challenging task ahead in the upcoming election oh, wow so with what we are saying now um Gordon Obasaki has stopped trusting Dan Obi now completely because of what is happening between Dan Obi and Wiki. Dan Obi uh, the the leader of the PDP legacy group in Edo State, uh, between him and the deposed deputy governor, Philip Shaibu. So every force is on their side now trying to work against Obasaki and his, uh, and his uh, what do you call him? He's anointed the uh, uh, candidate as a Odalo. And if you look at what is happening too, Mwike can also talk to uh, Oshomole. Uh, so National APC can work with Mwike. The PDP National Working Committee and APC National Working Committee can work together to make sure to see how they can sabotage PDP in the state and APC will take it. And that will be a very bad one. But I know it's possible. So I'm sure uh, fear has gripped Obasaki at this moment. Everything, all other uh, party big wigs in both PDP and APC uh, begin to work together to work against him in the state. Fear grips this man. Hmm. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. This is a big one. All right. So let's go to the uh comments on this obviously why did you include his name in the first instance abi now what for basaki not be lie you first of all included uh danobi's name in the campaign committee and uh, he re he refused simply because he does not trust you and he does not want to work for for you now the uh, national pdp has begged him to join and he has agreed to join and now you are saying that she shouldn't be trusted. So why did you put his name in the first place if he's not to be trusted? That is the big question. So right now, I'm sure Obaseki camp will be jittery now. And uh, what is his name? Uh, Philip Shaibu want to prove to Obaseki that he is a spoiler. And he, he can spoil the PDP plans in the state. Since he didn't win it, he, uh, he no other person will win it in the PDP. I'm sure he must have vowed to do that. Since they didn't give it to him, no other person will enjoy it in that state. Rather, the state will be taken over by APC. And that is why Philip Shaibu has said that he will humble Obaseki, will bring him down, even if it takes him to join APC. And if the PDP legacy group, which is a team working with him, have decided to move on to another party, what about him? He will move together. So all the forces are joining together now against Obaseki just for APC to take over that state. Hado State, now wow. So thank you for listening and uh, let's have your comment.